Hi guys, I'm Zendi. Hi guys, it's David. We are back here again. So in today's video, we are going to share about some tips for international students or new students who is coming to Northumbria University. What preparation should they have for the new semester? Yeah, especially because we understand that at the beginning you might be feel panicked about yep. coming to Northumbria University. Even yep. if you come from other parts of the UK, it might be scary at first, but with these tips, hopefully you'll feel more comfortable about your coming to the UK. Okay, so we'll start from the first tip. David, do you want to like share from the first? Yes, of course. I think the first tip you need to know is attending the enrollment session. Usually, the uni will send you some information about where you should come first in order to start your classes. Um, when you attend the enrollment session, they will talk to you about your smart card. They will take a picture, mm -hmm. and with that smart card, you will be able to access the whole campus. They will also give you some information about your visa status and any other instructions you need to do in order to be prepared to start classes. How about the second tip? Uh, the second one, I think it's standing the induction date. I highly advise you to come because yeah. in there you will get the chance to know who your lecturers are, to know your classmates. Yeah, know your course mates. Yeah, yeah, receive instructions about your course, the lab. The uh, that. The workshops, yeah, the library, which yeah. is very important. Yeah. So the next tip is to join society. Don't forget to join society once you come here and enroll because society is important. You can meet a lot of friends here. We have like 100 plus society yeah. in Northumbria University like Malaysian society Harry Potter Harry society, Potter society uh, film society English society Caribbean society there's a lot a lot okay so don't forget to join society next tip is to join the Freshers, Freshers Week, week. Freshers Week is quite important to join because, you know, Freshers Week is all about party. Especially Newcastle. Y yeah, Newcastle and then meet new friends, some international friends, not only like from Malaysia, there's some new friends from Colombia as well. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, free most, food. Yeah, free food. The most important thing is about free food and free stuff. You can just stock up for the food for a month <laughs> or a year long for me, okay? So basically, <laughs> Freshers Week is important. Just come to Freshers Week. The next step is mm -hmm. now joining a GP. David, what is GP? GP is your general practitioner. He's the one that is going to supply your healthcare and prescriptions during the time you will be here. Next tip is open a bank account. If you're going to stay in Northumbria for more than one semester, we suggest you to like open a bank account because look, to avoid some foreign currency charge when you spend here. If you want to open a bank account, you need to provide this thing. The first is passport, visa, your proof of address in the UK and your proof of address in your home country, your student status and also your proof of income. There is a lot of bank account you can choose from. So for example, you can open a Barclays bank account, Lloyd, Santander's, HSBC, and also if you don't want to open a bank account, we have an alternative way, yeah. which is Monzo or Revolut. Um, Monzo. Yeah, it's an app. Uh, you just need to follow some steps, and you will have a virtual bank account that will work in pretty much any place. So it's quite convenient yeah, it's whenever really convenient. we go out. We don't need to bring cash or card or anything. Exactly. So this is the tab tips for bank account. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the so, next one. The next one, mobile phone. If you want to make an international call, we suggest you to have a SIM card in UK. Which There's, one are you using? I'm using Wondafone. How about you? I'm using GiveGav. So like there is a lot of company, not only like these two, you can choose whatever SIM card you want to use. Here is the next, where to buy stuff here in Newcastle. Where do you usually buy your bedding, blankets and you wait when you first arrive well, in Newcastle? That's a good question. Uh -huh. Usually I go for the cheapest things and oh, the biggest deals we I can know. find. I know, we are students, it's, right? We're always broke. Yeah. <laughs> And then we choose, we opt for budget. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So what is your like? I usually go to Primark. It's the ah. cheapest option you can find in Newcastle okay. and I think in the UK in general. The beddings are really cheap okay. and maybe the quality is not the best, but at least it works. Okay. How about like clothes? Clothes? Yep. I will also go to Primark. Can I actually go to like Mark and Spencer, Topshop? Yeah. Next. 
H and M. Yeah, yeah like, like they are all this. basically all around the city, yeah. especially in the Northumberland Street, which is very close to uni. Different choices, different prices. It's up to you. Yep, yep, yep. So next is food. Food. I usually get food. Morrison's, okay, Tesco, okay. Sainsbury. Okay. For me, I will usually go to a market called Granger Market. There is a lot of uh, fresh vegetables and also fruits selling there, and it's quite cheap. So whenever I want to buy food or anything, I would just go to Granger Market. So how about traveling? There are different choices around Newcastle to travel around the city. Mm -hmm. The most common one is the bus. It's really cheap and affordable for students. You can also take the metro if you live a little bit more far, far from the centre. Yeah. And there is a train station that will allow you to travel all around the UK. There's a card for students who is aged from 16 to 25. You can actually apply that card and then get discount whenever you travel from one place to another place yeah. all around in UK. You can get discount. This is all you need to know before coming to Northumbria. Thank you for watching. See you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.